This is Matrix Lord 212, and it's late at night, uh, and I'm sitting here. I just finished a podcast uh, for Doctor Who, uh, and I just really wanted to talk about the day's event um, that's been happening the past couple of days. Uh, you know, to ignore it would be easy, uh, thinking it would go away, but, you know, I tend to not. Uh, want to ignore things because sometimes they just don't go away so like recently you know we had someone that just you know sometimes people cannot communicate okay and what they do is it's like a thing that builds up inside with them and you don't really know where they're coming from because they don't talk to you they don't communicate with you something that could be minuscule and small grows like a lava ready to overflow and that's really what happened with this one individual um, someone I called a friend uh, someone who I've done things with on YouTube and you know uh, we had a good we had a good uh, friendship you know and you know it really really hurts when when people go off on their own and try to do things and try to like like I write my books a lot about it um, and if you didn't read about my books or if you read about read my books uh, you should check, take a look at it because one of the things I talk about in my books is uh, the fact about people that have egos uh, and a lot of things in my life when when someone has an ego uh, that's their downfall because uh, there is no place for an ego in society or in the world because everybody that has an ego and thinks who the heck they are and conceited always fall on their face worse than anybody else. Uh, we've had seen it in corporations where the corporate mentality was, oh, we're too big to go to a percentage off, we can't do this, and rather than settle or be open-minded they would go out of business and then they would go to another company and put that out of business as well um, people that have egos there's no place for that uh, and sometimes it happens uh, you know not from the corporation but from the smaller scale for a regular individual that they get a big head maybe they have their own show maybe they have things going on and they just think who the heck they are and they forget where they came from, they forget their friends, they don't see what they're doing hurts their friends, and they go and they just can't communicate, and they go off on their own thing, and they hurt many people along the way, and when people try to talk to them about it, their ego gets in the way, and they just don't hear that person. It goes through one ear and out the other, and rather than, you know, communicate about it. See, the thing about technology is, in a way, technology is good being really advanced, but in a way, it's bad because people forgot how to communicate. So, you ever have a relationship where, where sometimes you have a, a romance or something, or, or a boyfriend-girlfriend thing, and the relationship ends by texting, or communications by texting? You know right there that's a bad sign. <laughs> okay, um, you know, in this day and age, like with friendship, uh, instead of communicating, like, okay, you could Skype or you could whatever. I prefer one on one, like a like a video chat or something, because you get to see how the person feels. You know, you, you don't know what's going on when you're um, texting because people misconstrue or take it the wrong way because they put emotions behind it when it's not. Um, and you really don't know because you don't see the body language of the person. So, uh, I don't like texting and, you know, I mean, I text all the time, but I'm not a fan of it. I would rather open communication in, in real life or Skype or whatever, um, or video chat or whatever. But anyway, um, the point really doesn't get across when you're texting or whatever. And um, people just can't communicate. So what do they do in this day and age? They make videos bashing the crap out of their friends and they put themselves like I am the man and I 
I uh, can do my own thing and I don't need the other parties. I don't need them. I can do my own show and hey everyone, look at me. I'm a raving lunatic and come join me and together we rule the galaxy as father and son. <laughs> you know, they do stupid things. Like they, you know what, dude? Like you bleed the same color. The color of your blood is the same as me. We're all human, like, you know, you're not more important than I am, and I'm not more important than you are, okay? So, you know, wake up from your dream, and and the thing is that, you know, I mean, are, are we in the clouds that this happens in life? I mean, who do you think you are? Really? And you know who you are. I'm not going to mention your name. I'm not going to come out here and rip you to shreds. I don't do tube wars. I watch tube wars. I don't do tube wars. And I don't need to do that on my channel for ratings or views or anything else. I watch it because it's better than the stuff on TV, but I am not going to be a part of it. So, um, you can bash all you like, but it's only going to hurt you. You know, you can bash me all you want, and you know what I'm going to say to you? God bless you, man. God bless you. That's it. That's what I'm going to tell you. Because you're going to be on your own, doing your own thing. And I'm not going to do anything to help you. I'm not going to help you with uh, if you have a show. I'm not going to do anything. Who would help anybody that, that bashes them and puts them down and then puts down... How many friends did you put down today? That you lied and you said, you know... You don't have a computer to talk to anybody. And then, instead of communicating, you just bash, bash, and bash. Wow. Feel a little big? A little bigger, right? Feel a little bigger? A little taller now? Yeah. Yeah. It's good, right? Heads in the clouds. You can't see what's happening, right? You can't see somebody with a shovel going to hit you over the head. <laughs> Take the blinders off, buddy. Clean the glasses, comb your hair, whatever. Because you know what? It's not you, man. It's not you. There's no place for that. Okay? Um, you had something really good. You had a whole bunch of friends, and you, you just smeared them through the mud. And and it, it, it all goes back to communication. People don't know what I'm talking about. That's fine. I'm talking about somebody. It's, it's fine. You have to learn to talk to people. You have to know that people don't agree with what you think and everybody's different and you need to adapt to that if you have a friend your friend can't be what you want them to be you, you need uh, to be put in your place sometimes and um, this person needs to be put in his place because um, he's just going off and you know what you can't be about helping people if you're about hate speech and I believe my concept of, you know, like my book, Promise Dream, um, you know, I can't be going to help people from trying to hurt people. I mean, that's crazy. So, like, and this is like a wake-up call to a friend, uh, but you can't say you're all good and you're doing all this stuff and then you go to try to destroy people. I think this is where the problem lies with you for your whole life, that you have people turning on you, you have people disliking your channel, you have enemies because you probably created the very enemies that you have in my case I'm just not gonna bother and I'm sure there'll be a video turn up tomorrow and be like oh matrix lord you know look at him in his silky pajamas and his hair all messed up and you know he looks like he's exhausted yeah cuz I'm going to bed <laughs> okay so God bless you again I like my silky pajamas. I hardly ever wear it, but you know what? It's a nice birthday present. So, um, thanks, Aunt. So, uh, my aunt got me this. But anyway, um, I got my, my soda. Relaxing. What time is it in the morning? I don't know. No, it's 1.15 in the morning. I'm bored. So, that's it. I, I want to say the person's name so bad, but it wouldn't be appropriate. So, people need to, you know, 
stop turning uh, people's lives into nightmares and you know follow their dreams and help people okay and stop you're nothing you don't think you're like all that because you're not you know so uh, you're the one that needs to go on YouTube instead of putting all that anger and everything there's no reason for anger so you should need to go on YouTube and say oh my god you know what I am sorry for doing this and that look what a jerk I was take responsibility for your actions instead of trying to hurt people so well what do I do I love doing the um, movie and podcast. I love doing the comic book cast. I love doing the Star Trek cast. I love doing any type of podcast to do with movies and comics and video games and a lot of different things that I like to do. Uh, I like, I'm very grateful for my circle of friends I have on YouTube. A lot means a lot to me. Um, you know, we may not talk every day. Uh, but I have a great, great amount of friends uh, that I've met and had the pleasure of meeting on YouTube. Um, you know, Spurgeon Star 2009 is not here anymore. On uh, YouTube, he's alive, but he's not here. Uh, and I had uh, King Scribe, and he's a great, great guy. He's the guy that introduced me to Spurgeon Star. Uh, and from there, I met a lot of different people. I mean, Dr. Freedom, he's a great, great guy. And his knowledge of Doctor Who is absolutely amazing. Um, he's a great friend. He makes great videos. He's a great host for the podcast. His voice is awesome. Uh, Johnny Blues, my buddy. Oh, man, I wish you could do the podcast with us. Uh, I want to get you in the worst way. I wish I could buy you a, you know, some type of way to get you equipment to, for you to be on the podcast because you are absolutely amazing, my friend. So you'll be on there. So um, Pissy the Clown, which... Finally, he came back. I'm so happy about that. Uh, it, it's nice coming home from a horrible, horrible day and everything going wrong, and then you could just watch Pissy the Clown and just crack up laughing. <laughs> hysterical. Hysterical. Um, that'll watch Walking Dead because that just cheers me up, too. Uh, my, me and my girlfriend, Sharon, we're watching Walking Dead today. She has to get caught up. I'm caught up now in Series 3, but she just finished Series 2, and she's like, you know, it's like a lot of stuff happens. So she was pretty happy, so. Um, but, yeah, uh, old doctor, I'm very grateful to you uh, for contacting me and, and everybody else to do the Whovian podcast, which I think that is an amazing, amazing thing you have done, my friend, you and the young doctor, and just getting us all together like the Avengers, Avengers Assemble, Whovians Assemble. It's like getting us together to talk about our show. What a great job. What a great what a great idea you had. Thank you, old doctor. Um, and and just about everybody that I've met. Graham. Oh, I love Graham. He's awesome. All the time. I wish he was in every podcast. You know, he's he's great. He's like my Daryl from like uh <laughs> from Walking Dead. He's cool. Um you know, we got Rhea. She's awesome, too. Romana. She's awesome. Uh, Modern Age Nerd. Uh, he's doing a podcast with us now. He's great. Awesome. Uh, you know, we got uh, Mo. Doctor Who, man. He's got... He knows his stuff. I mean, he knows more than a lot of people. You know, way more than I do. Uh, he's been watching it since before I was born. So, uh, you know, and then we have, like, so many others that have joined the podcast. I mean... You know, it's so great. I'm very, very proud of the Whovian podcast. And um, I'm so glad that it's, it's going in the right direction. And, you know, anybody can be on there. Um, we don't pick and choose. We have at all ages. And, you know, whether you like Doctor Who's new season, old season. I really want to get Dark Star on there. I know he's busy. Busy, busy guy. He's, you know, all over the place. Well, Mr. Famous, I hope you could appear on there soon. Um, even Mr. Tardis Reviews, someone said to me, like, well, why don't you have Mr. Tardis Reviews on there? I says, he could be on here. Um, I know he's probably doing his movie, which, you know, I want to see that. Because I remember I seen him, his review and he was talking about doing a movie. I definitely want to see that. I would see that. Um, he's welcome to be here anytime he wants. Even a Spurgeon Star 2009. Anytime he wants. I, I would drop everything and put him on. I would make, I would change my schedule around if it hit him, definitely, and Scrub too. So, um, 
you know one of the friends too I have um, Ryan my buddy Mr. P guy that uh, can't wait to be playing Call of Duty again uh, get back into the video games I was listening to Final Fantasy uh, I think it's Final Fantasy 4 soundtrack I like the battle oh, I love that but um what am I doing well tomorrow hopefully there's some good Doctor Who news um, I really am about writing my books that's what I really love to do um, the Sorrow Separation series is a huge huge part of my heart because um, you know from the pain and suffering and everything comes better things on your horizon and that what leads into the Tomorrow Song series which I'm all about people learning from someone's pain people surviving and evolving and you know just making themselves better and never just giving up never just you know um, closing the door on, on possibilities um, just expanding their window exp and making things a bigger bigger um, viewpoint of life and, and different paths you can take you know and, and, and opening up your, your, your heart and opening up your ears to um, destiny calling to you and uh, you know, I'm all about, uh, you know, making it interesting like the books and these wonderful characters that I have and different directions it's going and the spin-offs and everything else. And, um, you know, it's just, I'm very, very happy with my book series, uh, the Sorrow Separation series. Uh, the first book is Sorrow Separation, then it's Tomorrow's Song, which does get spinned off, has its own series. Uh, Winds of Change is the third book. Destiny's Calling is the fourth book. Um, Loss of Ways is the fifth. Shadows Reign is the sixth book, and that is a different, different take where what was once poetry has become story. Uh, still poetry in it, but a story, story based, uh, and very connected to an upcoming project. Uh, and then we have Greatness and Glory. We have Dark Days. We have Nine Years Time, and that's the nine books of the Sorrow Separation series. And then Promised Dream is a, a spin-off of Tomorrow's Song. It is the second book in the Tomorrow's Song series. Uh, and people ask, like, why? Why would I go in a different direction? Why not just put two, ten books for Sorrow? Well, uh, not all the... I mean, sometimes you, you have a different mindset. Like, you want to go in a different direction. And I've always wanted to expand the times of Tomorrow's Song uh, to show the better life, the happy life. Uh, and you can't always write about one specific thing. Like, I can't always write, like, sadness. And, I mean, not that the books are all sadness, but, I mean, you can't always write about, you know, that. You have to show different aspects. Sometimes you have to show the angry side. The anger has to come out and has to speak to the page. You know, and say how you feel when you're fed up. I mean, you're going to see stuff like that coming out. Future books. Um, you're going to have, we're going to finally have the tenth book. In the Sorrow Separation series, and that is going to be yesterday's story. And yesterday's story is going to tell the story of the the main character, the man of nothing. Now it's years in the past, uh, when his childhood, when he was only four years old, and you get to see how life shapes a child, an individual, into a man. You, how it, how things happen to basically map out that person's life. So that is going to be an amazing book yesterday's story. Uh, and, you know, that is going to be the tenth book of the Sorrow Separation series. And basically it's going to go in a different direction because, um, like I said, it's going to go many, many decades backwards. And the series is going to go in crazy directions. I mean, from way in the past, you're going to go into uh, a possible future. Uh, you know, you're not sure what that's going to be. Uh, and then there's going to be an angry side to it. There's going to be different directions and from the promised dream the second book in tomorrow song saga um the third book in that series is going to spin well it's going to um go right into the next um story arc which is going to be um destiny's calling 2 is going to happen after that and then it's going to have a third book with that uh and there's going to be sequels like basically each book of mine is going to be branching out like a tree into its own corner of that universe um and it's the, the the 
things that's in that universe is going to expand, almost like it, you know, forming its own system. So it's going to be really, really interesting. So I really hope that you guys check that out. Uh, and and besides the books, I mean, doing the whole Matrix Lord two one two thing. I mean, that has I love doing that on my laptop. I love doing videos and stories and um, on the news and, and then what I like to hear about comics and uh, movies and stuff. That's great. And and getting together with my friends to do stuff. That's great. And listening to my iTunes and, and writing books and then hopping on Skype like two minutes later and then playing Temple Run 2 on my phone. I mean, you know, and then the biggest joy ever is when I see my children. Absolute biggest joy. That and the next best thing is having the best girlfriend in the universe in my life to make my life absolutely fantastic. So, I love you, Sharon. Uh, and my boys, I can't wait to see them. Uh, and that's what uh, life's about. I mean, you know, my life's going to go in different directions, too. I'm going to try to evolve and do things. But hope you guys follow me on my journey. And you know what? Going back to the original topic, sometimes you just, you, you can't let negativity, like, push you to be negative. You can't let it make you dictate your actions in a, in a rageful sense. Uh, you gotta take a step back. You gotta watch it from afar. Of course you have to comment on it, but you gotta be mellow, you gotta relax. And, you know, if a person's gonna go all out, let them destroy themselves. I mean, you know, you can't change anybody, you can't help everyone. And if people are gonna be like that, God bless you. Take care, bye.